Welcome to my unboxing for Soviet Dawn, the third of three games I've just received on Kickstarter. Um, based around the Russian Civil War, 1918 to 1921, which is at the end of the Great War. Soviet Dawn Deluxe Edition. These are these are all I think all three of these are reprints actually. Um, Damon Leveloff's game system is back for a much larger storytelling adventure covering the Russian Civil War from 18 to 1918 to 1921. With several enemy fronts converging on Moscow, the fate of the revolution and the prestige of international communism rests on your ability to manage and resolve every crisis that they can assail you with. As the headlines unfold, you draw upon military and political resources to help you, or try to reorganise the Red Army for special abilities and greatly enhance your position. Who knows, you might even capture the Imperial Gold Reserve. Can you deal with the great crises of that time and defend the revolution? Will you withdraw from the Great War or exercise the Picarin option and fight on? Can you exercise the Tsar in time or will the Whites rescue him? Will you fortify Petrograd or press your offensives home? How will you deal with internal and external dissent? Play Soviet Dawn and see. Um, I'm sure they just put the same on the back of all of these because all three games I've just looked at all have exactly the same on here. Fairly low complexity. They are solitaire games. 14 plus. Take an hour. So let's have a look what we've got. Obviously I've never played the original so I can't, I'm not going to be in a position to tell you what the deluxe edition has but you can see on the inside of the you know, Nice little touches like that. It's really well made these games. Bit of a thicker rule book than the other two I looked at. Yeah, 20 odd pages and and smaller fonts as well, so there's uh, looks to be a bit more to this game. <laughs> and I am really looking forward to playing this game as well. Definitely know a bit more about the uh, this phase of the Soviet Union or Russia as, than I do about the uh, Boxer Rebellion that I've just been looking at. Like dealing with a lot of things, the political side of things, you've got a lot of it's going to Finland front, the Allies front. Yeah, there's not going to be a lot going on in this game. So I, and I'm basing this on very little, but they've got all those complexities exactly the same. I, I tend to think looking at, going by the rules and what's that, the Box of Rebellion and in Magnificent Style, I would say, are going to be much lower complexity than this one, but we'll see. I'm, I'm going to keep saying again because I've just done three unboxings one after another. Perhaps I should have done them all on just on one video. You've got a record of your victories and defeats. Nice size counter, you don't lose those. sided and board depicting Russia itself and its borders little sequence of play at the bottom little descent table political level track here Army reorganization. Drop off your cards as well. And in this one, you actually got some little basis for your cards as well. Your cards will see. Let's see which those are for. I would imagine it's for these cards along here at the top. And we'll see. This one looks. I wanted to do a playthrough of this game. In fact, all three of them look like uh, I could do a playthrough on these. We'll see once I get into them and get my head around them. And onto your, your card deck, which looks to be all one card deck. Just lovely the way they've set this out. 
you can see the, the pictures on them all, really, really nice. little touches on them yeah I'm looking forward to, well, looking forward to buying them all but um, from opening the three this is the one that straight away is grabbing me thinking yes uh, well that's a bit unfair but I thought it with all of them but this this one I think uh, fair chance this one will be the first to set the table or will I go for the easy option keep up the fire with less rules let's see because I've learned that this is I've just been, I don't know if anybody's seen the play through Pavlov's house, and I've just been learning The Lost Valley, Siege of DMBM Foo as well, which is a good game. Got slaughtered when I played, but uh, I'll be coming back to that soon. But um, yeah, I'll get these two, we'll have a look at these. Okay, thank you for tuning in.